company's called Solarize LLC and now owes the state contractors board almost a half million dollars. And the judge in charge of the case took their license away. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne has more. I feel that the public knows nothing about solar, which I did not know. But now, Barbara Erickson knows so much about solar, she could teach a master class. She had to learn because she hired Solarize LLC, also known as Get Solarize, but instead of getting solar, she got suckered. The first sign of trouble was when they installed in January, and nothing was happening. Nothing was happening, Erickson said, because the manufacturer of the 50 panels Solarize put on her roof told her they didn't work. The microinverters on 49 of the 50 panels weren't doing anything. She'd been used to paying exorbitant electric bills. It hadn't been bad initially, but when summer came, it was like $680. But by the time she realized what was happening, it was too late. She was paying those monthly Envy Energy bills and shelling out $258 a month for the loan she took out to pay for solar. She found out the installer, Solarize, broke tiles on her roof, that everything needed to be rewired, and she was pretty sure Solarize put the panels on the wrong side of her house. A new installer said Solarize had given her discontinued microinverters, far inferior to the ones she paid big money for. And Erickson says when she called Solarize's owner to confront him about the bait and switch... He called me every name in the book. He blamed you? Yeah, he told me that basically, I, you know, I didn't know anything at all. And that I was, you know, stupid and so many other wonderful things. When Barbara Erickson felt like she'd tried everything she could from here at her home, she knew she needed to do something more. That's when she decided to call the state contractors board and it's a good thing she did. A judge determined that Get Solarize caused more than $21,000 to Barbara's home. Contractors Board spokesman Randy Escamilla says, And those valid complaints led to the open case numbers. Barbara and most of the people in the audience at this Contractors Board disciplinary hearing Wednesday were on hand for the board's administrative judge to hand down the maximum fine possible, 46 violations costing Solarize $10,000 a piece, a $460,000 fine because of what the judge said were, quote, massive harm to homeowners and, quote, a continued public danger. This company had uh, terrible blemishes, workmanship issues, diversion of funds, failing to cooperate with an investigation. All of those uh, led the judge to determine that they were not worthy to even own a license or have a license in Nevada. So in addition to that huge fine, that judge revoked Solarize's license. The contractor's board spokesman telling the 8 News Now investigators, get Solarize, close shop, and got out of town. Do you know when they moved out? Which the current tenants at Solarize's old office confirmed, saying the company left four years ago, right around the time they signed a contract with Barbara Erickson, who got every penny of the 21 grand, from the Contractors Board Recovery Fund and has learned some hard lessons about going solar. I have done the best I can to understand what solar actually does. And she used that knowledge to help make sure the solar company she says wronged her doesn't do it again to anyone else. Kyle Payne, 8 News Now. The Contractors Board is turning over the Solarize LLC case to its Fraud Investigations Unit to see if it can file criminal charges. The spokesman told 8 News Now, quote, people can't just come to Nevada and commit a crime. There are consequences for ripping people off, end quote.